Hello, busy bees. Do you remember my sock? Yeah, that's the guy who was a bunny in one of the previous videos. And now, this guy will be a worm. <laughs> Funny. Um, it's a nice color, though, for my worm. So, we need one sock from a pair. Cotton. Oh, that's very important. Rubber bands and ice. Plastic ice or you can draw the eyes of the worm. It's up to you. So, now we will fill, that's easy, we'll fill the sock with the cotton. Come on, get inside. Like this. Spread it. You see, this time we're not using sugar or salt. We are using cotton. Different, different materials. So, now, we'll make the head of, the, of our worm. So, we're starting here, like this. That's the head. And now, Let's continue with the body. One more rubber band. And another one. This craft is a piece of cake for you. I'm sure it would be so easy. And actually, you do not even need a help from your parents. You can do it all by yourself. Just ask them to provide you. Um, cotton. That's it. Let's finish it. So we use like one, two, three, four, five, six rubber bands. And one last. Yeah, we are done. That's our worm. You see, he's moving like a worm. <laughs> Uh, let's stick the eyes now on our worm's head and like this. I'll stick them somewhere here. One eye done. The other one is almost done. Like this. It's so good to have so many materials at home. The eyes got stuck and I'll draw our worm's mouth. You see, like this. He's smiling at you. You can make your own, own worm or even a family worms if you have extra pair of, sh of socks. Bye bye, see you soon.